So we often talk about food security in, in future terms. We talk about how we're going to feed the, the population of the earth because it's just exploding. We begin at, we have 7 million, we're going to have 8 million, we're going to have 9 million, we're going to have 10 million of all these inhabitants um, of the planet earth that we're going to have to figure out how to feed them. What are we, what are we going to do about about farming? What are we going to do about fisheries? What are we going to do about um, about livestock? Are we going to still rely on meat? You know, all these sort of in the future, um, or at least further into the future ideas about what to do decades uh, or more from now. But more importantly, sometimes is is what has, you know, has showcased itself recently. It's actually important to think about what to do right now, not just in the future, not just you know coming up, but what to do, um, what to do about food security as of as of the present day, because right now we're facing um, we're facing kind of a complicated crisis. I think that we're aware of it. We're complaining about inflation. We're complaining about prices, but I don't think it's really sinking in that when there's a really big problem we're not gonna be able to rely on all the transportation, all the logistic mechanic mechanisms to be in place, to just kind of do what they do um, the, the way we're used to. Sometimes it's just gonna be, it's gonna be too hard. It's gonna be, um, we're going to have to just work out within each country. Each country is gonna to have to work out within itself. How is it that, um, that it's going to feed its population. So, so as we make all these other plans for, for sort of growth, for entrepreneurship, for development, for technology and everything else, we should always just keep in mind, you know, the simplest thing, um, just keeping food security in mind, um, wanting to be able to, to, to feed your, is the most basic thing. It's the most basic um, obviously, right? I mean, what are you going to do if you can't, you know, just go to the store and get what you need to eat and what you need to cook at home and things like that? And and um, it can go out of control pretty easily. That's the thing. It doesn't seem like it, but we dip, a lot of countries depend on imports a lot, too much. You know, they depend on imports a lot. And if what happens if they don't have the Forex, the foreign exchange reserves that they need, all of a sudden they can't purchase all the food that they used to import. And, you know, they've allowed themselves to become reliant, um, um, too reliant on, on exporting from other countries. And, and, and in this case, what, what they need to do is, is, is just, keep, just, just focus on building those industries within that they need as much as possible. I mean, people will always have a taste that they might have a taste for foreign goods and, and things like that. But at the same time, there just needs to be um, a lot of focusing and making sure that, that, that what can be done on ground is being done as much as possible. That way you can reserve the, the foreign exchange funds for something else. That way that stuff can be on hand to take care of other things. That way you're not wasting that on food and, and that's being spent on stuff that that's more useful. You know, because food can be grown locally if 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 enough effort is put into it. You know, everything you need to do to prepare the soil, everything you need to do to sort of set up the environment, the, the environment that is already there, to set that up to do that stuff's already there. So that way, when you're using foreign exchange reserves to get stuff, it's only when that needs to be the case. That way you're not wasting it. And that also allows the value of the the local currency to perform better because that creates more demand for it. If you're not making anything locally, you're not creating any outside demand, maybe even local demand for the stuff. And that's always gonna hurt the, the local currency. It's gonna drive, it's gonna drive that local currency um down. And so, so, so the beginning of that, the beginning of that even needs to be just doing more food stuff locally and then other stuff too. So that way you would have the, um, the, the ability to use the foreign reserves to sort of take care of other issues when crisis hit. Because when crisis hits, things just change. Things change dramatically. All of a sudden, things that you know could be relied upon getting can be gotten, whether the crisis is a pandemic, 
whether the crisis is a war, you never know. I mean, right now in the last three years, if, if, if the present is the best predictor of the future, then that means that everything that's been going on in the last three years should be waking, waking up um, countries and waking up um, municipalities and waking up governments. So the idea that they're not always going to be able to get from other countries that they're accustomed to whatever they need. So they need to sort of practice getting as much as they can sourced locally and done locally as much as possible. That way you're only going out to get um, what you need to. And that'll, again, that'll like liven up the local economy too. There won't be so many complaints about, oh, there's no foreign exchange to purchase fuel. Oh, there's no foreign exchange to get all these like imported foods. There's no, it's like, well, you know, you need to have done as much of that in the, in the, um, in that environment as much as you could and only relied on the outside when you had to. And then that would help. And that would have made the economy do better because that's all the stuff that drives up, you know, that drives up prices needlessly. If everybody had a farm, you can't make anything that expensive because I would just go to my farm and get it. <laughs> you know, if everyone dreamed of having mansions, but also having a farm next to it, then you couldn't, you couldn't, you know, you can over hike up prices, you know, to some extent, to some extent, um, yeah, the, the idea of just making sure that, um, that space, the food stuff is, is um, is readily, um, available and, and can be done locally is really pretty big deal. And everything in that value chain is, um, is something that, um, should be worked on. So, um, and so th then that leads me to the issue of um, how to just like maintain prices. And I mean, it's, it's the related issue of how to maintain prices and make sure it doesn't go completely out of control. Part of what, um, part of what doing things um, locally will do is because is that it'll get rid of artificial hikes on prices. Sometimes when you have all these crises, like for example, you know, just something happens. And and um, um, even even like um, even even something that isn't even full blown crisis yet, just something happens internationally. All of a sudden, prices just fuel prices or whatever just artificially shoots up, and it's like, and you ask, well, why? Oh, it's because um, so and so maybe invaded this, or so and so is thinking about invading so and so, or so, and it's just like stuff like that. It just um, it's so it makes the environment makes the environment if you're relying on that it makes the, 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 that's so volatile, it makes prices really volatile. But for people who are not relying, for countries who are not relying on that, that's a benefit because the fact that somebody like, because something seemed like it was going to be a crisis or seemed like this wouldn't sort of artificially just like, you know, artificially um, overhype prices and, um, and mess things up in, in that context. So, so that's something that, um, that, um, we need to to think about is 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 everything that we can do to 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 help stabilize prices and is 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 included in that is included in just looking out for our food security needs and everything <laughs>